What's going on everybody? Welcome to part 19 of our Python with the NLTK library for natural language processing. In this video we're going to be building on the last video and talking about how we can convert this algorithm to a module that we can use and then we're going to tie that into uh, the Twitter streaming API and generate live sentiment analysis for any term you want. Um, so anyways, uh, we're going to just dive into that. So this one is going to be pretty quick. We're going to talk about pickling. Uh, we're just going to talk about it. We're not actually going to dive into coding or you know pickling each single thing here. That would be a waste of uh, y'all's time. I've already shown you guys how to pickle, so you should be able to do it. If you can't figure it out for whatever reason, after this video, the source code will be posted. So all of the things I'm showing you will be posted up. Uh, but I do encourage you to try it yourself. Pickling, we've already gone over that in this series, how to pickle. So definitely try to do it on your own. If you can't do it, feel free to ask a question or check the uh, source. Moving on, uh, after we pickle, obviously first you have to pickle it, then we're going to load the pickle. And when we do that, if we pickle all of the trained algorithms and the word features and all this, uh, we will be able to import this module and use it within seconds. It's probably like three seconds or something, as opposed to like you know three minutes <laughs> or, or longer, depending on your processor. So... Um, so this is the module. Basically, nothing's changed until we get to this point. Uh, so here, what I've done is I've got uh, some uh, some logic here to allow only for specific types of words using the part of speech tagger that's built into NLTK. We've already gone over part of speech tagging and all that, so you should understand. Uh, here we tokenize by word, then we just tag the part of speech. And then what we're doing here is we're saying for the word and part of speech, if you recall, the part of speech tags to tuples where you've got the word followed by the part of speech. And so this here for W and part of speech, that would be W would be the tuple of word part of speech for the part of speech. So word and then the first -th element is like the second, right? So that's the part of speech. Then the zero -th, what are we doing there? So with parts of speech, if you recall, usually it's like three letters. So there's many forms of adjectives, there's many forms of adverbs and so on. Uh, we just want to know the first letter. So if this word is a type of adjective, adverb, or verb, we're interested. And actually here, I'm just uh, allowing adjectives. You can play with this, do what you want. Um, I just, the adjectives seem to be the best from my findings, but I didn't really test it too heavily. So do what you want there. And then if it is an adjective, at least in our case, we append it. This way we're not getting nouns and you know commas and this kind of stuff in our way. So we do that for both, and then we move on. We go ahead, I save it as a pickle. Again, we've covered how to pickle, what the point of that is, so I'm not really going to stress too much on how to do it. There's the code, though, if you if you need it, pause the video and copy it. Uh, moving on, uh, we've got uh, the word features. Again, we're pickling the word features. This stays the same. We're not going to pickle that, no reason to. Coming on down, we get to the classifiers. And now for every single classifier, except for the voted classifier, because we can't, for every single classifier, we're pickling, so we pickle. And so we here we pickle it, classifier, pickle, classifier, pickle, all the way down to the bottom, and then we have voted classifier. Can't pickle this one, but that's that's totally fine. Uh, there's no reason to. This is actually really fast. This isn't like the other classifiers where we have to train. This is really just a class of its own, and it's just a vote based on the other classes here. Uh, so there's really or classifiers rather. So there's really no reason to pickle this. This is like this this operation happens in milliseconds, so that's totally fine. Um, and that's that. And then at the very bottom here, we're just building kind of what we're going to have here as our module. We create a quick function here, and we just define it as sentiment text, and it returns the features, and then the find features of text, and then it just returns them. The other thing we can do is we can return, uh, so you've got voted, voted classifier .classify feats. We can also return the confidence uh, up here. So remember we, we built this confidence score. So anyway, this is the first thing. You'll run through this. You'll pickle this. Once you have the pickle, we move on uh, to the second part of creating this module, and that's this file here. We're going to be saving this as sentimentmod.py, and coming on down here, basically everything's the same, only we've removed all the generation of stuff. So documents, we're loading the pickle that we just pickled a second ago, loading the word features, the feature sets, we're uh, creating these testing and training sets, no problem. And then we're loading in the pickled algorithms, all of them, right here. Boom, done. We come on down here, voted classifier, we create that. And then here we have the sentiment function. So basically what we'll do is, again, we're saving this as sentimentmod.py. And just to 
eliminate any confusion. Sentiment mod .py, all lowercase. Uh, so then we'll import sentiment mod, and then it'll be sentiment mod sentiment pass through text that function, and then you'll be returned the classification and the confidence level. So again, the confidence level is based on the voting. So did 100% of these algorithms vote? Did 80% or 60%? And you might want to change, you know, what you're even willing to consider. If it's 60%, maybe you just toss it out and don't claim that you know the the answer. So that's sentiment mod.py. We save that, and then we're coming over to the final step, and that would be, you know, just any file. But this will just be a blank file here, and then we can do the following. We can import sentiment underscore mod as s so import sentiment mod as s and then we can actually do something so we can say uh, print and we're gonna do s dot sentiment so that we're importing sentiment mod as s and then dot sentiment is referencing that sentiment function what was the parameter of that sentiment function it was just the text any of the text so we pass through let's pass through our own review so let's say um, this movie was awesome the acting was great, plot was wonderful, wonderful, uh, and there were pythons. So yeah, <laughs> right? Okay, so that should be that should ring positive for us. And then we'll just do the exact same thing again. Let's just copy this. Come down here. Um, okay. Come down here, and let's do one more. And this will be a, a let's make this a negative uh, review. So let's say this movie was utter junk. There were absolutely zero pythons. I don't see what the point was at all. Horrible movie, zero out of ten. Okay, so here's a negative review, obviously because it had zero pythons, and the other one was a positive review that had python. So let's go ahead and save and run that and see what we get. So keep in mind the importing time uh, it's taking more than three seconds. Anyway, there is obviously much faster than before. And here we have our first review was a positive, and that's a 100% confidence level. Remember, we were mimicking before they sent them in as decimals, anything from zero to one. Uh, so one is 100% confidence. Uh, so the first one is positive with 100% confidence. The second one was negative with 100% confidence. So that's exciting because our other algorithm wanted to just call everything negative. So good that we've got some, got got one that will classify even short text as positive or negative, but can actually see and recognize positive. Okay, so again, I recognize that was pretty quick to go through all of that stuff, but I just it was going to take probably three videos each this long to talk about the pickling and the loading of the pickles and the conversion to a mod didn't really make much sense because we would just be glazing over content I've already talked about plus I think it's a good learning experience for y'all if you can really try this on your own try to pickle the stuff on your own try to load the pickle on your own get comfortable with it because uh, pickles are really important thing again it's not just NLTK pickles with anything so get used to it um, so anyway if you have questions or comments if, if you need help something's not working for you I'm here to help I'm always here to help so just feel free to ask again the source code will be posted online probably within a few days I usually do the whole video series post them up on YouTube and then I post up all of the the text text versions of the tutorials along with the source code so everything will come but if you need help right now I'm happy to help so just post a comment below uh, Anyway, that's that. As always, thanks for watching, and until next time, where we're going to connect this bad boy to Twitter and then start graphing live sentiment. So that will be really exciting, really cool. I'm happy to get to that point. So anyways, thanks for watching.